Hello class, my name is Miss Dillon, and today my goal is to show you a lesson plan that I've constructed and how it demonstrates my knowledge of technology, pedagogical, and content that I've learned so far in this class. My lesson plan is going to, uh, to go over the construction of a triangle, and also um, I will teach them what the vertices are and we'll learn how to label the vertices. We'll construct each angle bisector for all three angles in that triangle. I'll also go over the definition of what an angle bisector is. We'll learn a new vocab word, in center. And we'll analyze and manipulate the triangle and what happens to the angle bisectors and in center when the angles are moved around. Lastly, we will learn how to construct a triangle, or sorry, how to construct a circle inscribed in our triangle. So it's a really fun activity. So here, let me, um, let me describe exactly what it is. I won't go through my construction of it, but I will just go over what um, I plan on on being on the lesson plan. So first, we will construct a triangle, and the triangle is going to look a little something like this. It doesn't really matter um, for this given, this particular activity, it doesn't matter if it's a right triangle or an isosceles or whatnot. But um, then we're going to label the vertices in this particular triangle. I labeled it ABC, and then we're going to bisect every angle. And this is what it's going to look like with all three angles bisected. And notice that all three angles uh, meet at one unique point, and that unique point is called the in center. We will label that point in center, and uh, and just at this point, uh, most of our construction is done, and we really will have some time. I'll let the students have some time to to play with this uh, triangle that we've created. So I'll let them. So while they're playing with this triangle by manipulating the different angles, um, I will ask some important questions. And one of the questions is, what happens to the angle bisectors when you move the angles? And you, you notice that um, they certainly, all three of them will move just given that one angle is moving. Um, and what happens to the in center of the triangle when you move these angles? And really, they get to, I'll let them um, have a few minutes of just playing around, noticing the different characteristics of uh, when an angle gets, um, you know, pushed closer, further out, and whatnot. Um, finally, we'll definitely go over um, what exactly the in center is, and uh, and I'll discuss how it's the point of the of the interior where all the three angles meet. And um, this last fun little thing that we'll go over is we'll inscribe a circle within the the triangle. And this gives them a better a better idea of exactly what in center is. Um, and that is that it is the center. In the in center is the center of a circle of the largest circle that could fit into the triangle. So with that knowledge now, I came up with a few fun um, take-home assessments that I can give the students. I was thinking I was thinking of some better ways that they could they could think of exactly what an in center is without um, without only thinking of it as being um, a project, you know, with paper and pen on this computer. Um, but I was thinking, what, what's a fun project that we could put into a more realistic uh, life situation? And I thought of this. Um, well, there's plenty of, of things I thought of, but here's an example. Um, I could say, say uh, we had a classroom that only had three walls. That's an interesting classroom, but, but it's possible. And um, say we wanted, we had a large group of students, and we all wanted to play musical chairs. But we weren't sure how many people, you know, we weren't sure how big this circle can be. Um, so, so use the inner center to, to figure out, you know, how big this circle of uh, children were allowed to, that we could fit into this classroom. Um, another idea is, um, is if we wanted to play musical chairs, but we wanted to just all walk around one chair, where, and we wanted that chair to be right in the middle, how could we find the middle of the triangle? Well, by the inter in center, and by, by construction of that, we, uh, we get to that answer. So it's a, just a more realistic way for them to look at it, but, um, but regardless, I feel like this lesson plan definitely demonstrates my knowledge of, uh, 
of technology and pedagogical and content that I have learned so far in this class. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.